Hey guys, and welcome back to Regret It, Brexit Britain, a country whose Prime Minister is always socially distanced from the truth. That must be because he comes from Leicester. And he supports Leicester United. He should really work in Leicester Square. And also, welcome back to By Any Means Necessary. Thank you so much for all your messages you sent me. And a special thanks here to everyone who signed up to my channel. I feel so blessed with so much people that have signed up. So thank you so much for that. I'll go through all the messages. I'll answer as many as I can, but I will like all the messages for definite. So we are at a stage here where we've seen um, the Tory advisors laughing at the stupid members of the public right people who was looking at their parents you know through windows in care homes people who couldn't you know go to funerals right you know um you know i went to you know i went to one i went to one funeral i don't know if you've ever been to if you i don't know if you've ever been to a black funeral but they they do go on quite a while Right, but you know, normally, normally we have like a, a there's normally a gathering afterwards, and we have like nine nights. So all these things we we couldn't really have, but you know, so normally there's a gathering afterwards. But you know, we was like the last one I went to was like my friend's dad, and he was like he was he's into his he was into his eighties, well into his eighties, right? So um, you know, we was at the graveside, right? But. We had to, you know, <laughs> the cemetery staff had to ask us to leave because they needed to close. <laughs> That's how long we was there for, and we was there from early afternoon, right? Because obviously we didn't have it, we didn't, we didn't have a hall or something like that to go to afterwards. You know what I mean, because you no, know, you wasn't allowed to have, you wasn't allowed to have gatherings and that type of thing. Do you know what I mean? So to hear Allegra Stratton just mocking that, just mocking the British public in the way that only a Tory can do. Right. Because you see, the difference is these people, they're born to rule. That's, that is the thing. They are born to rule. Right. And that's the reason why they believe that they can do this and get away with it. Do you know what I mean? They can have, you know, it's not it's not just one party that was having in Downing the Street. There's plenty of parties. That, you know, they had a party the night Don, Dominic Cummings left. Right. So now the Prime Minister's on the telly right now, right, trying to, um, you know, um, trying to come with some new COVID um, rules and that, right. But, you know, I, whether or not people are going to, you know, people are going to take him serious because you can't take this man serious. Do you know what I mean? Because, you know, none of the rules apply to him. Right? And as we've seen now, they also don't apply to, their, to his staff members because they're just there laughing at us while they're having their parties and they're talking about how, how they've got cheese, how they had cheese and wine and like uh, you know and and you know let's call it a meeting. Well, I'll tell them something first of all, right? If you got four, if you got you got forty or fifty people, right, in a room, right, having a meeting, right, that's a conference. <laughs> okay, right, it's not it's not a meeting. It's gone past that. It's a conference. Or it's a party, right? It's one or the other, right? And then when you've got people like Ant and Deck just mocking you, do you know what I mean? You've got to say, you know what? It's time for this motherfucker to get the fuck out of here. But, you know, I don't think anyone is enjoying a Boris Johnson <laughs> prime ministership as much as me. Because you know something, right? This teaches the right, the, the far right, a, a real lesson. Right. The damage that Boris Johnson has done to this country is going to teach the is going to teach the right wing a real lesson. Do you know what I mean? And they're learning that lesson right now. They're, they're learning that lesson really, really hard. But you know, you know, there's one image right that I really like. Well, actually, there's two images right that I can remember from the last like, from from since this from since this started. Right, there's two images I can remember. I can remember that you know there's two brothers right. Their 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 dad had passed away right, and their mum was there at the funeral and there was all socially distanced at the funeral right and the mum was there sat by herself right so then the the two brothers went up to go and comfort the mum right and like the one of the um, one of the staff members from the um, registry office just like registry office from the um from from the because of the creek being cremated and one of the people from there right just jumped up and said to him, no that told the brothers to move away from her. Do you know what I mean? It made the, it made the news and all that. Do you know what I mean? It just told the brothers, no, you need to move away from. Do you, know I mean? you can't be, you can't be cuddling and them things there. And the other one I can remember, yeah, is the queen. The queen sat there, yeah, by herself, 
right, at her husband's funeral. She's been married to the man for a for hundred years, right? You know, one of Britain's greatest love stories, right? And the woman's sitting there by herself. And let me tell you, yeah, I've never, I've never ever, I've never ever felt, you know, sorry for the Queen, right? Because I'm, I'm, at heart, I'm a Republican. Right? but I do I do admire our Queen and I know you're thinking to yourself what because you came out in support of Black Lives Matter you're already that shallow yes I am <laughs> right? but I am a you know I am a, I am a supporter of the Queen right and um, I will say right that um, do you know I mean that's the only time I've ever felt sorry for the Queen I looked at the Queen and you know what and just like you know you know this little figure just sitting there by herself do you know what I mean, right? While these motherfuckers are having fucking parties up in there, do you know what I mean? And having fucking cheese and wine, and then mocking us as well, right? With their fucking secret Santa, and they say, and they're talking about, oh, and you know, as if, and then Boris Johnson's talking as if he didn't know. Of course he knew. And then he said, oh, well, you know, today he's trying to outfox Keir Starmer today because he knew that Keir Starmer was just going to go on the attack with this, right? So he's come out and he's apologised, first of all, right? And then he said, "Then he said, well, he's gonna, there's going to be a, a, an inquiry into it. I said, well, you know, he's inquiring into anything. Just ask the policeman that was at the door. <laughs> or ask the policeman that was at the gate. Just ask any of them. Right, there's plenty of policemen up and, up, up and down the street. Just ask any of them because they will tell you Right, right, but and, and again, right, you know, a, a few people from the media, because this is why it's only come out now, right, because there's people from the media that have been attending these parties in Downing Street, because Allegra Stratton, yeah, her husband is, her husband is is, is a big wig, right, I, you know, for you know, something something to do with the press within Downing Street, right. You know, so he gets so so he's he's there, she's there, right? You know, um, you know, someone and Rishi Sunak, his best friends, and all these people—they're all, all of them are all best friends with all the people from the media, right? And that's the reason why the media is so friendly to Boris Johnson because he controls he controls most of it in the same way that in the same way that they can control all the police and all that so when they're talking about oh well you know if you know, if there is something to see here they'll give they'll give all the information to the police what's the fucking point there's no point they're, the police is just as corrupt as them right? there's corruption there's corruption all the way through right? because that's what this country is it's built on corruption the only thing the corruption is not at our level it's at the higher level. You have to get to us. You have to get to a very high level to, to be able to get that corruption. You have to get to a very high level to be able to sit there in the cabinet and say, "I used to have cocaine parties," and everyone's just like, "Here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. You have to be at a very high level to be able to do shit like that, right? Or you have to be a rock star, and I don't mean a crackhead. <laughs> Not that kind of rock star. I'm talking about I'm talking about a proper you know musician type rock star. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, big time actor. They're the only people who can. They're the only people who can really talk like that. People who don't really. People who don't who who don't really need to worry about employment and everything there. Do you know what I mean? Because they can fill a stadium. So do you know what I mean? They can talk, they can tell you you know what I hoovered up more cocaine right than Michael Gove. Right, they can tell you that shit. Do you know what I mean? So that's where the corruption is. Corruption is all the highest level. That's why these people can have parties in front of the police. Right? While someone like me right, can come out of my house to go to the kebab shop. right? And this was in the first lockdown. Come out of my house to go to the kebab shop right, and get stopped three times. You can't... Yeah, I know you. You think to yourself, you think to yourself, how far is this kebab shop from your house? Well, it's five to six minutes away. Right? So I got stopped on the way there. Right. And then when I got to the actual kebab shop itself, I got stopped outside the kebab shop, right? And then, right, when I'm on my way back home, right, I got stopped by a traffic police. This time I had the kebab. Obviously, I've got the kebab now. Do you know what I mean? So I got out with the kebab. I said, mate, I just come. I just, I've been stopped twice already. Right? <laughs> right? I was coming out to get something to eat. And they're like, no, I was just, I just wanted to know where you was going. That's all. I just wanted to know what you was doing now. Do you know what I mean? That's how. That's that's for us. That's how we're treated. I mean, you know, we keep a party. We, if we kept a party, we'd get ten thousand pound fine. These guys are mocking us. They're there mocking us. So we're actually, Jesus, why the meeting? 
Yeah, it's so fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. Now, you, now the government right, is completely out of control because people are not going to... Whatever COVID rules come out now, people are going to be like, you know what? Even if Boris Johnson... If any, whatever rules that comes out now, there's going to be a lot of people who don't follow them. They'll just be like, well, they didn't follow them. You know, even today, yeah, you've got people who are up in court, right, for, for offences from last year. Right, for for COVID offences from last year. Do you know what I mean? In Westminster Court, across the road from the House of Parliament. <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? And these people are mocking us hard over the whole over this whole shit. Mocking us, mocking us, mocking us. Do you know what I mean? You know? So I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's just where do we where where did this where did these shit houses go from here? Do you know what I mean? But but as but as you Brexiters know, right? This is the government, right? That you wanted. You wanted these people. You wanted. What? Well, do you know? Do you know what? Right? A guy come on the radio this morning and said said that um he was like trying to defend Boris Johnson and then end up saying, well, Boris Johnson's there for the working class. I thought, what? Boris Johnson's there for the so. Which working class people do you know that's got a thousand pound to roll wallpaper? I mean, really, seriously, who, who, who do you know? Who, who, who do you know that's got a thousand pounds? Do you know what I mean? Who? who, who? I mean, who do you know right, that spent, right, a ten thousand pounds, yeah, on a chair? Or seven thousand five hundred pounds for a mirror? Which which working class people, which working class people do you know that, that do that? I mean, which working class people do you know, yeah, that, that, that says that £275,000, right, for writing articles for the Telegraph, right, is chicken feed? Which, do you know, I mean, how much working class people do you know that, that could say that? I mean, you know, this is the thing. I mean, I don't understand the level of stupidity from these people. I do, because obviously I know, I know what it's all about. It's all about immigration. Right? And, you know, Boris Johnson will be saying, you know, it's like, he'll be saying nice things about immigration. Right? And, you know, see how he deals with, with Keir Starmer. He'll say, well, you know, you're, you're, you're trying to use these parties to, um, you know, for uh, political gain. Right, trying to make it political, okay, and he, you know, every that I mean, in Prime Minister's questions, that's what he was coming over with today. You know, it's political, it's political, it's put and fit yourself. Well, Boris, come on, man, Be, you know, you, you have to come better than that. And then you've got like Dominic Raab, right? Dominic Raab said, you know, basically, he's has come out and said that um, the police don't, you know, they don't investigate crimes that are over a year old. He's the Justice Secretary, right? And you think to yourself, seriously, you know, the whole, you know, you don't realise how important Dover was to this country. Shouldn't you just keep your mouth closed? Shouldn't Dominic Raab just shut up? You know, that would be, that would be the best use of his time to show, because, you know, Dominic Raab, yeah, he's the most, he's one of the most tetchy right, individuals in the government. Right, if you right, and incompetence, incompetence stands right next to him. If you looked up incompetence in the in the um, in the dictionary, right, there would be a picture of Dominic Raab right there. Right, because this man is an idiot. Right, well, I tell you, you know, all the all the criminals so today must be must be thinking, so, oh, hold on, the police don't involve crimes over a year old. Oh, well. That what I done last year, I've got away with. <laughs> Obviously, only for the police to come out and say, "Well, actually, you know, we don't really investigate like COVID, you know, breaking of COVID laws, you know, a year ago." But you see, I think in this case, because who these people are, uh, it should it should be investigated by the Met. But you know, it doesn't really matter anyway, because they're not they, they're not going anywhere. But 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 it should be investigated. You know. They shouldn't investigate me if someone says, well, he had a party a year ago. They shouldn't investigate that because that's just ridiculous. But for those guys, they should be investigated for it. 
Right? If I had a party a year ago and I got and I got away with it, if the police turned up at the time, right, that would be fair enough. But but I would say that would be fair enough. But now obviously we know that those those people are having parties and been mocking us for it. Then no, it wouldn't have been okay. That that's what the truth is. It wouldn't have been okay, and it's not okay for anybody. Do you know what I mean? Look at um. Rita Ora, I believe, was given a £10,000 fine. So she should be saying, you know what, I want my money back. I want my money back. I had a magistrate on the, I had a magistrate today saying, you know what, this is just making our job harder. Because, you know, because, you know, if people come now and say, well, you know, they, well, they was having parties, what are we supposed to say? This is what the magistrate was saying, what are we supposed to say? Because it is a great defence. What are we supposed to say? Do you know what I mean? Because, you, you know, it's obvious that these guys, what, what these guys have been up to, so if they can do it, why the hell can't everybody else do it? Do you know what I mean? This is the, this is the problem, isn't it? Right. And let's talk about let's talk about a bit of Brexit because Mark Francois, yeah, has um he he's um he was looking for a publisher to publish his book, right? But his his ass has had to sell publish his own book because no one wanted to publish his book, right? And he blamed the Remainers for that. It's the Remainers' fault, right, that no one wanted to publish his book. You see these guys, right? You know what what these guys' problem is, right? Is they expect, right, us to like to jump to their tune, right? They think, right, that um, if someone doesn't publish Mark Francois's book, it's because that person's woke, right? Or they're a snowflake, right? That's the reason why you know the you know the uh, the publishers won't won't go near him because because they're all because they're all snowflakes, right? All the ones, obviously, all the ones that he's been to, right? and people from the right, obviously, people, obviously, um, publishers from the right would be like, well, maybe your book's rubbish, but you know, but it amazes me yeah, how these people, like from the right wing, like I don't know if you you heard the story about oh, Richard Littlejohn, yeah, he went to a, he he was at um, Durham University, right, and um, some of the students, right. Um, they must have they must have bought to to go and listen to the to the to the speech right but before he started to speak a lot of them got up and walked out in a, obviously in a protest because that you know they you know they don't they don't want you to protest in like in that way right so a peaceful protest they don't want you outside shouting at people right so but they say to you oh no but you no but you have the right to protest but just don't protest out just don't protest us right so so little John right they so they walk so they've walked out so these students have walked out right but you see the problem with people like little john yeah is that there's there's things that they want to debate right that i look and think to myself well it's not really something i i'm I, i'm prepared to debate with anybody like for example yeah colonialism right and slavery i'm not going to debate that there's no reason for me to debate that with anybody i've got no reason to debate that we know what happened Right. We, we know exactly what happened right? and you know if, if, if you want to hide away from your past then you hide away from your past but don't try and debate it with me because because if you because if you try and if you try and tell me that you know that any any anything good came out of it right then I can't have that debate with you right because not because for me nothing came out of it all all that came out of it it just proved it just proved right that the West and the, that the West right are evil. That's what it proves. So you know, so you can't do. I I I don't debate um, slavery with anybody, right? And you know, obviously, people who agree with me over slavery pointless us talking about it. Do you know what I mean? Because we're only because we're only going to get really depressed. And I don't debate people that 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 want to want to explain to me the good sides of of something like that. And and also with the Holocaust, I don't debate the Holocaust with people, right? Because there's nothing good. There's there was nothing. Right about the Holocaust, right? That you can say to me, well, this was the advantage because there was no advantages to it. There's no advantages, yeah, to murdering seven million people. There's no advantages to that, right? So, so I don't debate those things with anybody. Do you know what I mean? It's because for me, it's a, it's pointless. You know, if 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 someone is a um, if if someone is a, a um, a Holocaust denier. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to debate that with you. I've got nothing to debate with them at all. At all, you know. What I mean? If you want to deny, it, you deny it. Do you know what I mean that's down to you? But I'm not going to debate that with you because I just think you're an idiot, right? That's it. So and so and I'm not going to debate with someone who I who I think is a complete idiot. 
Do you know what I mean? So people like Little John, they want to go and debate colonialism in in in, in universities and those and those type of things. And you know, obviously, the, the, a lot of the students like, well, we, you know, we, we don't want to hear what you've got to say, mate. We're not interested in what you've got to say. But the right wing, they often think to themselves, well, you know, well, why don't you, you why don't you, you know, try listening, try you try and have a debate of it. But I, you know, I'm just like, well, nothing to debate over that. Do you know what I mean? So you so you see, so Marc Francois thinks it's um. It's the woke lot, right? The, and people like the Remainers who have who have made sure that his book hasn't been published by a publisher. And then we've got like the EU, right? Are gloated about our trade problems. Gloated, right? Because what's being said here is that the EU knew that we were signing a really really bad deal. So they knew, that's what they say. Well, you, we knew, we knew you were signing a bad deal, right? but you know what, we let you sign it and now we're laughing at you. <coughs> they were, hold on. But we signed it. You know, we, we came with the deal for the for, for the EU. We we came with that deal for the EU. Do you know what I mean? And, you know, it's just typical right, of these people to blame the EU for our woes. That's who's to blame. It's all the EU's fault. <laughs> say, okay, fair enough. If that's the lines you want to go down, then that's fair enough, right? If you want to blame the EU, right, for what the, for what you Brexiters have done to this country, then you know what? You carry on blaming the EU. But me, I'm going to blame you. Anyway, guys, this is by any means necessary. I'm DMC John Ribs. It was really nice to speak to you guys. Comments below.